Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is a Google Nexus 9 tablet, which is uh, HTC built, Google sold. It uh, sells for about $400, and some people had expressed some concerns that while it has a reasonably fast processor and a high uh, resolution display, runs the latest version of Android, that the build quality might not be su uh, superb. And a complaint that a lot of people are having is that if you sort of push in around the Nexus logo, you can actually see the, the tablet give a little bit. Now that's something that I didn't notice in my first couple of days using the tablet, because when you're holding it, that just doesn't really uh, happen very much. Uh, but if you do turn it over and push on the back, you can see that it does give a little bit. Now this tablet, even though it's made by HTC, has a very similar design to last year's Nexus 7 tablet, which was made by Asus. And I noticed when I pulled that one out, and again, I've had this one for probably about a year or so and haven't really noticed any flex issues. But if you push down in the center, it does give a little bit. Not quite as much as the new tablet, and that probably has something to do with the fact that we've got a larger uh, surface area here, but it does give a little bit. Uh, again, when you're holding it, I don't think you're likely to feel that too much, but there might be some quality control issues. I've noticed, uh, I've seen some other videos where other people push and it seems to move a little bit farther. So uh, I don't think it's a huge concern, but if you want to buy a tablet for $400, which is the starting price for this model, and you're really hoping for a more premium build quality with something like a sturdy aluminum case, um, well, this has a plastic case and it has a little bit of give to it. So that's something that you might want to be aware of. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing.